everybody, it's me, Carmine Stefano, the book man. Now last month I had promised you the expansion to Street Fighter 4, and here it is. Simply titled Super Street Fighter 4. What does it add to the original? Well, let's take a look at it together, shall we? As you can see in the character select screen, there are a slew of new fighters to choose from all of whom have their own story to tell, in animated stills this time. But since I'd gone through the original 24 from Street Fighter 4, I really don't see the need to go through those characters' storylines once again. So let's focus on the new entrants. From the Capcom Street Fighting Classic Final Fight, Guy, the sneaker-wearing ninja, coming from Metro City with his spin kicks and elbows. Also from Final Fight, Cody, who leaves jail because he's bored, a la the Tick from the comic books who left the Psycho Ward because he was bored. He's got a bunch of dirty moves, but they're all effective. From Super Street Fighter 2, T-Hawk, who tries to rebuild his village with a whole bunch of power. Also from Super Street Fighter 2, DJ, who gets into bar fights. He's my kind of guy because he's got slick moves, he hits on every woman he faces, and he's always smiling, like me. From the Street Fighter Alpha series, Aiden, Sagat's old apprentice, who wants to show his true strength with his high knees and swift kicks. But what's with that hairstyle? Now who has hair like that? <laughs> now the true newbies, Dudley, an English gentleman boxer who's got a thing for roses. He's right up your alley. A man of true class and dignity. He's got quick moves that are also pretty effective, which makes him a good pick if you're new to this whole thing. Then there's Hakan, the Turkish oil wrestler who beats up a small guy because he thinks he's stealing his ideas. He has a bunch of powerful wrestling moves, but what's great is when he misses one of them. Emma Kodo, the whiny woman boy thing. And the answer is... Ooh, not even if she were real would I want to. She wants to rebuild her family dojo with her unorthodox style. That's very effective as well. Ooh, shut up. Judy, the slick sadist who's practically controlled by Seth through a bionic eye he created for her. With her long leggy style and her flexibility and barely protecting chest plate. This woman's so sick that even after she loses, she's still got something crazy to say. I'll break you, alright. Just you wait. And she has one of the best ultra combos because of how she finishes it. Oh, it certainly did. Sorry. Last but not least, Ibuki, the teenage ninja student who wants to meet boys. She's the online favorite pick since her moves are hard to block, which makes her very cheesy. If you select a character, you have a choice of two Ultra Combos, which gives you a little bit more variety with the original characters and the new ones. A lot of them are very, very nice to look at. Some are very effective as well. What's great is, Ryu's new souped-up Shuryuken stops all sound from traveling outside his own. That's gotta hurt. As you play through the traditional arcade style, You'll notice another addition. After three fights, you get a... Bonus stage. That's right. They brought back the bonus stages. Like beating up a car. When you do this with Guy or Cody, this happens. Oh, my God! Perfect! That is perfect. After two more fights, you get to break barrels. Then, after one more fight, you... Now with the new characters, there's an expansion to the rivalries. Some of them are really sensical, others not so much. There's only one problem I have with it. When you play with T-Hawk, you know that Shadow will ruin his village and M. Bison was behind it. You want to play through with this melancholy Mastodon so you can get your revenge against him. So you go through the whole thing, you go through a lot of trouble trying to beat it with him, and once you get to this point, your rival is... 
What are you kidding me? Who gives a fuck about El Fuerte? Why am I not fighting Bison? <laughs> After that, you beat Seth and get the end cinematic cartoon. Now again, with the original characters from the first Street Fighter 4, you already know how they end off. Maybe sometimes they kind of expand on it, but not really something I need to get into. So let's go to the new characters. Guy rescues Rose for some reason. Cody turns his back on Guy and Metro City return to his prison cell. T-Hawk returns to his Julia. Wow. DJ is dancing, Aiden returns to the ring with a god complex, Dudley returns to his mansion with his roses, Hakan returns to his mansion with his white if I Makoto returns to her dojo to fix it up, Juri destroys Seth and takes over SIN, and Ibuki looks like she has no pants. 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 And Ibuki looks like... Alright, that's it. Now I've gone too far. I am ogling a computer-generated cartoon teenager. I am an abomination! One more time. And Ibuki looks like she has no pants. As in Street Fighter 4, after you beat Seth under specific circumstances, you can face Akuma or Gukin. And that's pretty much it. So, what did I think of this game? I enjoy it more than I did the original Street Fighter 4. I love the playability, I love the challenge, although sometimes it could drive you batty. The new characters add new dimensions to the game, as do the extra ultra combos. They're nice to look at, as I've said before, and some of them are pretty effective. Not all of them, but some of them. Although there aren't any characters to unlock, you can unlock costumes and taunts, which is pretty cool as well. It's good that they brought back the bonus levels they should never got rid of in the first place. And they also brought back the challenges, which are really challenging. I mean, really? I mean, really? How can I perform that? How am I going to pull that off? And they've also made the online play a little bit easier and a little bit better than the original Street Fighter. Overall, I recommend this game. If you like playing on your own, it's got a high replay value, and if you want to hook up with your friends or some strangers online, it's also got a high replay value for that as well. And after all, Abuki looks like she has no pants. Thank you all for watching. I have more for you soon to come, so stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.